Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Today I'm making a ridiculously simple video, mostly because I want to empty out my hot glue gun, and I'll explain why in a minute, but first I want to finish welcoming you. Those of you who are new, thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure and s click the subscribe button. I know that a lot of my viewers haven't subscribed, and I would really appreciate it if they did. And those of you who are subscribers, thanks so much for coming back. I get a million different ideas of things that I want to do and they get backed up and this one I just I had to try I'm emptying out my hot glue gun because I want to put crayons in my glue gun that's a different video but since I was doing it anyway I thought I would show you I don't use my glue gun very much I've probably had this thing 10 years and done I mean at least 10 and done maybe three projects I wouldn't be surprised if I'm on the same glue stick you can see that I'm having some trouble getting it pushing down to the end. The plunger thing doesn't push it anymore. All I'm trying to do is empty out my glue gun. And in the meantime, I thought I'd make a couple of stencils to play with in an art journal. I've seen people put them on their craft mat. I put mine on my glass mat because I've ruined a lot of things over the years and the glass mat is indestructible. I also like, if you notice, it has the dimension. That would be really nice because when you're making stencils, you don't have scale. So I could get an idea of, and here I've let them dry, and then I'm coming back with a spatula that I don't care anything about. Next time I might use my actual um, palette knife because it's very thin and I know that it wasn't that hard. It wouldn't have broken it or bent it, but I wanted to be careful. I've sped this up three times. I was super gentle when I was doing it, just because I've never done it before, but I don't think you have to be. I would make my stencils again on my glass mat because I have those measurements in the background. Not that I care if my stars are exactly two inches or three inches, but next time I would make the stars, of course I'll make stars, I love stars. I would make them maybe a little bit smaller so that I could fit multiples on a page. And that's the other thing I would try and do is make multiples of the same thing so that I can get a busier layout and have more of the color blocked when I'm spraying. This section on the right, I didn't show you the whole time that I removed it because you've gotten the idea. I wanted to just experiment with a big glob of glue and see how I would like it. I really liked that it was more sturdy than my star and I think next time I would do two layers of glue on each stem of my star. Not only did I want to show you the actual making, but I've let them cool, probably cured for a couple days just because I got busy. And then I've put them on an art journal page and I'm using the Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. And then I'm going to use teal and a green. And I'll do some fades in between to give you an idea of when I dry. The green is actually called Citron and I didn't mix it very well, I see now. I do the fades to give you an idea of when I dry and drying isn't a science but what I have found is if I do the gold and then I do the teal right after I just pretty much end up with green so I tried to dry a little bit more before I put the teal on. I thought this was pretty fun. Remedial yes but super fun and I liked it. This would be great for making snowflake stencils for this time of year or especially if you wanted to make something you didn't want to buy or maybe you're snowed in and you have a lot of glue sticks later in the year but you can't get to the store you can make the shapes that you need so I thought about that you'll see that there's overspray on my glass mat and I make a giant mess if you're concerned about overspray be sure and always spray in a box just save the box from Amazon or probably something bigger than a shoe box and use that as your overspray box. Don't buy a box for that purpose. I'm not kidding, that's a thing. Keep in mind, you don't wanna be making cards. I do this sometimes, but you don't wanna be making cards right where you've been spraying your mixed media products. It turns into a mess. So if you wanna be tidy, be sure and use a box. Don't do what I do. And here you can see I'm just rearranging them. I'm kinda of having some fun with it. I liked it here with that bright white blue and then I brought in the uh, green on top of it and moving things around. And I liked those dots of glue too. I kept moving those back and forth. What I did find is when you buy your stencils, they're bigger and they have plastic around the edge. 
the color shine stuff is a little sticky and gooey and it kind of got all over me. I'm not that picky, so it was fun. If you want to see what I do with the crayons and the glue gun, be sure and watch my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.